yes, this tray was designed to be able to ship reduced quantities of vaccines throughout the province. Uh, finding the correct shrinkage factor um, and then accommodating for that to be able to hold the vials, as well as making it easy to count the number of vials going into the tray at a glance. Uh, originally, they wanted us to 3D print blank vials to be able to insert into a full tray of vaccines to prevent them from falling over during transit and keep them more stable. Uh, but we determined that a better method might be to actually to positively hold them instead. Uh, the first call was to request that we 3D print vials to fill up blank spaces in full trays of vaccines to be able to distribute them in Canada. All of the 3D printer materials we have uh, aren't suitable for those low of temperatures, so we immediately looked into the materials that would be applicable. We found acrylic to be a suitable candidate. Uh, so we did create blanks out of cut acrylic rods and then also proposed uh, building a tray to be able to ship reduced quantities in an easier uh, method than juggling little rounds. Uh, our initial prototype held 143. We reduced it to 100 because that's closer to the volumes that they might need to ship. And we've uh, also uh, divided it into, into uh, rows of five to make them easier to count at a glance. Uh, we manufacture them right here on our laser cutter. Uh, we definitely had to be mindful of the tolerances in the box. We didn't want to in introduce any jostling or shaking when they're trying to open and close the box. And we also needed to make sure that when the material got cold and shrunk, that it wouldn't actually get so tight that it would pinch the vials. Uh, I think the end product is pretty great. It's uh, been a, a series of changes and iterations to get to this point, but I think we've come up with the most cost-effective and rapid solution that we could. Uh, the reception has been quite phenomenal. Uh, they were stating that they do have issues loading it in time because they are limited to three minutes. Uh, so we proposed to also developing a grabbing tool to be able to pick up five vials at a time and load the tray uh, much more rapidly. Uh, to make sure that the vials were held at the correct height to be stable uh, and to make sure that the material would not shrink and pinch the vials at low temperatures. Uh, we had an initial contact on a Wednesday morning, and we had uh, viable solutions in their hands by end of day Friday. Uh, honestly, the rapid turnaround is always fun. Uh, it's really fun to have a problem, come up with a solution as quickly as possible, and then manufacture that solution in equal time.